Ever wonder why the Prophet ﷺ told us not to drink water while standing? It turns out science completely backs the Sunnah. Anas anhu said the Prophet ﷺ forbade drinking while standing, narrated in Muslim. When you drink while standing, gravity forces water straight down your esophagus fast. That sudden rush hits your stomach wall with pressure, causing distension, reflex, and even mild bloating. And when you gulp water in that position, your kidneys experience a sudden fluid overload, shifting your plasma osmolarity and straining filtration for a few minutes. But when you sit, everything changes. Your diaphragm relaxes, your core muscles loosen, and your parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest mode, activates. Your heart rate slows, your stomach receives water gently, and hydration becomes more efficient and balanced. Even your kidneys benefit, they filter fluid more evenly and maintain better electrolyte balance. So when the Prophet ﷺ encouraged us to sit while drinking, it wasn't just manners, it was biological wisdom. 14 centuries before medical physiology described it. He occasionally drank, standing, to show it's not haram, but better adab and better health come from sitting calmly in gratitude. So when you drink, please sit down. It's sunnah, it's science, and it's self-care. Assalamu alaikum. Wudu isn't just ritual purification. It's one of the healthiest daily habits a human can do. Let me explain the science behind it. Number one, microbial control. Wudu washes the hands, face, mouth, nose, and feet, the areas with the highest bacterial exposure. Studies show simple washing reduces infections by up to 30 to 40 percent. Number two, nasal rinsing. It's not symbolic. Rinsing the nose improves mucociliary clearance, reduces viral load, and decreases allergy symptoms. Exactly what ENT doctors recommend today. Number three, nervous system reset. Cold water plus repetitive washing activates the vagus nerve that increases parasympathetic activity, the system that calms your heart, lowers stress, and improves emotional regulation. That refreshed feeling after wudu, neurology explains it. Number four, skin barrier health. As a dermatologist, I love this one. Light repeated rinsing removes irritants and sweat without stripping the skin. It helps prevent acne, eczema triggers, and even fungal overgrowth on the feet. Number five, oral hygiene. Mouth rinsing before every prayer reduces bacterial load and reduces gum disease risk. It's basically a mini mouthwash built into the prayer routine. Number six, sleep optimizer. Wudu before bed, a sunnah, lowers skin temperature and activates parasympathetic pathways. That helps you fall asleep faster and sleep deeper. And number seven, mindfulness. Five times a day, you pause, wash, breathe, reset. It's a psychological grounding ritual that modern therapy recommends. But Allah gave us long before studies existed. Wudu isn't just spiritual, it's biological mercy built into worship. Wassalamu alaikum. Thank <laughs> you.